Assalamualaikum. Hello everyone, how are you? And welcome back to this channel. Today I will show you how to crush out this water bottle holder by applying the multiple of four maple leaf pattern. Here it is. The material I use are dark brown polyester threads with a 2.50mm cresset hook prompt to lip. Firstly, hold your threads and make a magic circle. Then, make three chains which are counted as one double crochet followed by 11 double crochet. These three chains are counted as one double crochet then make 11 more normal double crochet. Okay, done. The total of this double crochet are 12 if they are counted from these three chains 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Now, fasten the yarn, then make a slip stitch above the first regular double crochet, not above the three chains. I'm going to make round 2 now. Start with 3 chains. After that, make 2 double crochet in every stitch. Make one double crochet in this last stitch. Another one is represented by the three chains. After that, make a slip stitch above the regular double crochet above the first regular double crochet. I will bring out this yarn tail to be hidden throughout round three. I'm going to make around 3 now, start with 3 chains, then make 1 double crochet in 1 stitch followed by 2 double crochets in the next 1 stitch. The round 3 is the alternation between 1 double crochet followed by 2 double crochet in 1 stitch. Repeat this pattern to complete the round 3. This is the end of round 3. Make 1 double crochet in the last stitch.
then make slip stitch above the regular double crochet now round four start with three chains that represent the last double crochet make one double crochet in each of the next two stitches two double crochet in the next one stitch back to one double crochet in each of the next two stitches followed by two double crochet in the next one stitch repeat this pattern until the end of round four This is the end of round 4, I have made the last double crochet before the 3 chains, then make a slip stitch on the 3 chains, not on the regular double crochet because this is the last base of this water bottle holder. After that, make chain 1 and make 1 single crochet in the same stitch, then make 1 round of single crochet. Here is the end of this round. Make a slip stitch on the first single crochet. The best part of this water bottle holder is already. Now I will make the main pattern. Sew with three chains. This is the old round. This pattern is applicable for all old rounds. Sew with three chains, then make two double crochets in the same stitch. Skip one stitch, make one double crochet in the next one stitch. This is only for this first round of the main pattern. Then skip one stitch again and make three double crochet in the next one stitch. Skip one stitch, make one double crochet in the next one stitch. The next old round should be one from pause instead of one regular double crochet. Repeat this pattern to complete this first old round of the main pattern. Here is the end of the first old round of the main pattern. This one is the last double crochet. After that, make a slip stitch on the three chains. Now I'm gonna start the second or the first even round. Start with one front pole single crochet through the middle double crochet. Then make two chains. This stitch represents the first front pulse double crochet. Then skip one stitch and make three double crochet in the next one stitch or three double crochet above one double crochet. Skip one stitch. Make one regular front post double crochet through the middle double crochet. Skip one stitch. Make three double crochet in the next one stitch. Repeat this pattern to complete this first even round and this pattern is applicable for the next even rounds.
Here is the end of the second or the first even round. Skip one stitch and make three, double crochet in the next one stitch. Then make a slip stitch in the second of these two chains. Make three chain to start the second odd round. Make two double crochet in the same stitch. This pattern is similar with the first round or with the first odd round. Skip one stitch and make one front post double crochet through the middle double crochet. Skip one stitch and make three double crochets above the front post double crochet. Then repeat this pattern until the end of this third or until the end of this second odd round. This is the end of the second odd round. Make slip stitch on the third of the three chains. This is what the pattern looks like. Repeat the patterns until you get the height you desire or until you get the height that fit the size of your water bottle. I've got the desired height. This height fits my water bottle. After completing the main pattern, I will make two rounds of single crochet. The first single crochet is made directly in the next one stitch. Then, I will put a stitch marker above it, but I will not make any slip stitch to end each round. The single crochet are made spirally. This is the end of the second round. Remove the stitch marker. Then make a slip stitch to end this second round. There is no slip stitch to end the first round because the first round of single crochet are made spirally. Then cut the yarn and hide the yarn tail inside the single crochets. You can use the best ring at all or a smaller crochet hook. After that, fold the bottom part of the water bottle holder and go up. Then, determine the right and the left positions of its handle. Put a stitch marker on the desired position. Make it like this. After that, make the handle start from the second stitch from the stitch marker. Insert the hook into this stitch, grab the yarn and pull it up, make a chain, then make the first single crochet in the same stitch. Remove the stitch marker. Make four more single crochet 
So the amount of the single crochet are 5. Then make 28 rows of reversible single crochet for each side of this handle. Done. Here it is. And this is another one. Cut the yarn. Fasten it up. Then sew together the left and the right side of the handle using this yarn tail and let it pass through needle. Then make one round of single crochet through this and through another side of this handle. This is the end of the round. Cut the yarn, then hide the yarn tails inside the single crochets. You can hide it like this using the best ring needle or using a crochet hook. It's already and this is what it looks like. It's so strong, so beautiful and so fashionable. This is how to use it. Well everyone, I hope you like this pattern. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you again on the next video. Have a good day and happy crochet!